hello everyone welcome back to my channel it's your girl ray and in today's video guys we are going to be reallocating funds from the savings challenges that i completed in the month of january so if you want to know how much i saved and where that money is going then please keep watching happy tuesday guys i hope all is well i hope everyone is having a wonderful wonderful start to your week I am doing pretty well, guys, but like I stated, we are going to be reallocating funds from savings challenges I completed last month. Now, if you are new to my channel, I do this once a month, and I call it Sinking Fund Showdown, where basically I go through the savings challenges that I completed for the prior month, see how much I've saved, and then what I do is I reallocate that money to different um, sinking funds. But with all of that said, guys... Let's go ahead and get to the inspirational quote of the day. And this is for today, which is February 13th. And it states, the kingdom has always been about more than what we can sense. Oh, friends, it's more about what we know in our hearts and about following faithfully the one who whispers to us there, believing that in all things he is working together for good. Guys, that is a good one. I'm going to go ahead and set that off to the side. Now, guys, as y'all can see, like I stated, I have everything set up. And remember I told you guys that I was going to start tracking once I complete savings challenges for 2024. And that is what we are going to do today. It shouldn't take me long to do, the, do this part at all. Um, and then also for those of you who are new, when I am done with a savings challenge, I put it in what I call my completed savings challenge binder. This is such a motivator for me because throughout the month or at the end of the month when I'm done with all of my challenges, I can look at this bad boy and it gets pretty thick sometimes. And it just makes me really, really proud of myself to see this binder get thicker and thicker because I know that is savings that I have completed. But with all of that said, let's go ahead and start to track the different savings challenges that I completed for last month. So let's get this mo opened up. And the very first savings challenge we are going to track is the Affirmation Savings Challenge for January. And this is a savings challenge that was created by Income Babes. And for this challenge, I saved 10, 20, 25, 30. I saved $30. And I already have it written down here. So we're just going to write total $30. The next savings challenge we are going to track is small savings equals big wins. Bundle number one. And this is a challenge that I created. And in small savings, big wins, I should have $268 here, guys. So we have 150, 70, 90, 210. 230, 250, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68. So we have $268. So let's put this in here. Let me move this over a little bit. Okay, so let's go ahead and put 268. And then next we have Winter Wonderland is another, this is another savings challenge that I created. Now we should have $100 in Winter Wonderland. We have 50, 70, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. And we do, so let's go ahead and put this in here. And let's track $100. Next we have Boss Bay Bucks. This is another savings challenge that is in my shop. It's actually a, a scratch-off bundle with three different scratch-offs where once you're done, you'll save $500. So I should have $500 here, guys, but let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 50, 70, 90, 500. So awesome. So let's track $500 for Boss Bay Bucks. And then next we have Hello Valentine. This was a challenge that was in my shop. I no longer sell it, but I should have $150 here. We have 100, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. So guys, that's $150 for Hello Valentine. 
And then lastly, we have a January challenge that I did. And this challenge was created by All Things Planned. I should have, um, what, $59 here, but let's see. 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. And I do. So let's write 59. Let's put this in here. So let me get my calculator and we're going to calculate how much I actually completed in savings challenges for the month of January. Now, just as an FYI, it's not exactly what I saved because remember, guys, I am still currently working on savings challenges that I was working on in January as well. These are just savings challenges that I actually completed in January. But let me get my calculator. Give me one moment. Okay, guys, I have my handy dandy calculator here. Let's go ahead and calculate how much I um, finished in savings challenges for January. So we have 30, 268, 100, 500, 150, and 59 for a total of $1,107. So let's go ahead and write that down here. $1,107. So give me one moment. I'm going to reset up so we can go ahead and do Sinking Fund Showdown. Okay, guys, I am back and it's time for us to do Sinking Fund Showdown. Let me go ahead and show you guys really quick which sinking funds are going to be part of Sinking Fund Showdown and the amounts that I'm going to put into them. First, we have car maintenance. Car maintenance is $30. General fund is $20. Nails is $20. Hair and brows is $10. Personal Essentials is 5 and Dates is $10. So, we are going to set that right there. And guys, this, um, I guess this is called a Color Dice Randomizer. You can use it to try to figure out where you want to put different types of savings or different funds into different um, cash envelopes. And this was created by Budget Better Life, just as an FYI. And so, I am going to set this right here so everyone can see it. Now, as you know, I am not going to be putting $1,107 into these um, sinking funds. And that is because I have sinking funds that are much more important than these sinking funds. Now, car maintenance is very important, but all of the other ones are nice to have sinking funds. And there are sinking funds that are there, there whenever I need them. But there are other sinking funds that are much more important to me. So we are going to pull some money out to put into those sinking funds or into some um, debt um, payoffs that I'm trying to do or savings that I'm trying to do. The very first one we are going to pull is for my Roth IRA. And if anybody saw my goals video, during my goals video, I told you guys that my goal for my um, individual Roth IRA for the year was to put $3,500 into it. I currently automatically put $50 into it every other pay, but in order for me to hit that goal, I need to put an additional $191 into it. So we are going to go ahead and pull that right now. So we have 100, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 1. So, guys, that is for my Roth IRA, and I will meet my February go with this amount. I'm going to set this off to the side. And then the next one is our mortgage payment, our extra principal mortgage payment. As you guys know, if you watched my last um, weekly cash stuffing, in that video, I pulled out $271 to go toward our $515 go. I actually pulled out $271 from the year-long savings challenges that I am doing. And our goal is $515 per month. We've already made that $515 extra mortgage payment, but I need to put money back into the account to account for that. We had already pulled $271, so from this amount, I need to pull $244. So we are going to do one, two, twenty, forty. One, two, three, four. And this $244 is going back into the bank. Next, guys, is my daughter's wedding dress. As a lot of you know, I talk about this all the time because I'm so proud of my daughter. 
Um, but we are saving up for her wedding dress. We're going to be pulling $400 out of this money for her wedding dress. So we have one, two, three, 54. And this money will be stuffed during my weekly cash stuffing. And then next, guys, we are going to pull out $30 for my savings. 20 30 Then we're going to pull out $15 for my oldest grandson savings. It's for, um, 10 15 Then we're going to pull out $10 for my middle um, grandchild, which is Lily. And then $10 for my youngest grandchild, which is Messiah. So that is all the money I am pulling out for very important either savings, investments, or um, long-term savings that I have going on. I'm going to put that off to the side. And next, we're going to go ahead and do Sinking Fund Showdown, guys. I should have $207 here for the Sinking Fund. So let's go ahead and get to rolling. How do I want to do this? You know what? Let's do this. Let me get out a piece of paper. I meant to do that. Give me one second. Okay, guys, I am back. So what we are going to do is go ahead and roll the die. And whatever we land on, that is how much that sinking fund is going to get. So let's go. Okay, we have orange, which is general fund. So we are going to put $20 in there. Next, we have um, blue, which is hair and brows. We're going to give that $10. And let me get my calculator so I can keep a count of what we have going on here. So I have 207 minus 30 so far. So we're, we're at 177. We have yellow, which is dates. So that's $10. Let's keep going. We have yellow again, which is dates. So that's another $10. We have orange again, which is general fund. So that's 20. And I'm gonna take general fund off the board because I don't need to be putting that much in general fund. So general fund, we're gonna end with $40. I need to put some money into car maintenance and nails. We have blue, which is hair. So we're going to take hair off the board as well. That is $20. So minus 10. But nails currently have hair. No. Hair currently has $20. And I really don't need, I don't know why I put hair on here, but whatever. We have red, which is car maintenance. So great. Car maintenance gets $30. So that's minus 30. We have orange, which is general fund, but we're not doing general fund. I took him off the board. We have yellow, so dates, okay? So dates is going to get 10, right? We're going to take dates off the board with $30, so let's minus 10. We have 87 left. We have blue, which is hair and brows. I've taken that off the board. We have orange, which is general fund. I've taken that off the board. We have green, which is personal essentials. That's $5. We have $82 left. We have red again for car maintenance. Good. Minus 30. We have $52 left, guys. We have yellow, which is dates. We've taken dates off the board. We have orange, which is general fun. We've taken that off the board. Purple, nails. Okay, so $20 for nails minus 20. We're at $32, guys. We have purple again, which is nails. $20. So nails has a total of 40, right? So minus 20. We have $12 left, guys. I don't know if y'all can see that. We are going to put that into car maintenance. So plus 12 
car maintenance gets 72. <laughs> Which is enough for oil change. How about that? So, let's go ahead and get to stuffing these. Let me move this up. So, let's go to my, what do I want? My revolving sinking funds. So car maintenance, guys, we said is getting $72. Let me move this right here. Can y'all see that? Probably not. Let's set it here. Because we are going to track as well. So car maintenance is going to get $72. So today is the 13th, 113, sinking fund showdown, 72. So this should take um, car maintenance to $272. So let's do 20, 40, 60, 70, 1, and 2. Car maintenance currently has one, two, 20, 40, 60, 70, one, two. And then general fund today is getting $40. So let's take that out. And today is 213 sinking fund showdown. $40, right? So this should take general fund to 195, guys. So let's do 20 and 40. So general fund has one no, 51, 50, 70, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. $195 in general fund. And let's see here. I think that is it for this binder. Yeah, it is. Let's move to my self-care binder. And so, guys, nails is going to get $20. Nails don't hardly have any money in it. Goodness. So, 2, 13, sinking fund showdown. Plus 20, that takes it to $48. It's not even enough to get my hair done. Uh, my nails done. No, it's $40. What are you doing, Raquel? So that'll take it to $68. So 20, 30, 40. This should be 68. 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 66, 67. 68 and it is so let's put this back in here next is hair and brows guys this really didn't need any money but um hair and brows is going to get twenty dollars and it's currently at what's that 218 team second fun showdown 20 Gonna take it to 238. So 10, 20. We have 1, 20, 40, 60, 82, 10, 20, 35, 6, 7, 8. $238. And then we have personal essentials, which is getting five dollars. And showdown plus five. So this takes it to what's that? Eighty-three. Should take it to eighty-three. We have 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 1, 2, 3. And then last but not least, we have date night. 
date night should be getting the last thirty dollars and it is currently at what's that 26 so let's do 213 sinking fund showdown plus 30 56 5 10 15 20 25 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Let's make sure we have what's that, 56, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Awesome. $56, guys. Okay, guys, that is going to do it for another segment of Sinking Fun Showdown. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, guys, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment below. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see, please make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave because I would love to have you here as part of the family. Guys, I will see you on Thursday during my weekly cash stuffing. Have a great rest of your day. God bless. Bye, guys.